Hey, what's up? Today's tutorial is going to be about the most demanded jump rope trick, which is the jump rope release. I hope you're ready, because I am. With that said, let's get into it. What's up guys, Leon here, helping you get better, faster at jumping rope through weekly jump rope tricks tutorials. And in this channel, we mostly do, as I just said, tricks tutorials as well as how to jump rope types of tutorials and anything and everything that has to do with jump rope. So if you're new here and are really looking to take your jump rope game from zero to one, strongly consider subscribing to this channel. The rope skipping release is one of my favorite jump rope tricks. It's a very advanced trick, one of the harder ones, but once you get a hold of it, it really, it, it's really becomes delicious to do. It's here to say that, but it's, it's really becomes a beautiful trick to do. There's no other feeling like nailing your first release, to su successful being able to do a clean release, understanding how you can start integrating it in your own personal routine with your own personal style. I kind of procrastinated doing this video because I felt that it, it was one of the harder videos, the harder tricks uh, that I had out there. Yo, what's up, man? You're good, buddy. <laughs> hey, how are you? Say what's up to YouTube, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you. Take, care. Take care. There's many types of releases and many variations to the release. In today's video, we're going to be doing the most fundamental release, which is also called the mic. So to best explain the release, I'm going to have to switch it to the voiceover. But before doing that, I'd like to introduce a couple of fundamentals that is going to help you really get a grasp of once we switch over to the voiceover. So when you release, you're going to have one hand that's the turning hand and another hand that's going to be the catching hand or the free hand. The turning hand is basically the hand that always has one handle in it and that is also turning the rope. It is responsible for the undular motion the rope has while doing the release. The catching hand or the free hand is basically the hand that's gonna have to let go of the handle and then catch it back. If you are a right-handed person, your release hand is going to be the right and your catching hand is obviously going to be the left. If you're left-handed like I am, the release hand is going to be the left and the catching hand is going to be the right. So what that means, if you're right-handed, you're going to use the right handle to actually turn the rope, to turn the cable while it's in the air. And your left hand is what is going to catch it while it's in the air, basically. So at this point, I'm going to be switching to the voiceover. There, I'm really going to break down how each member of your body has to be moving, how your release hand has to be moving, how your catching hand has to be moving, how do you actually release, how do you actually catch it, how do you actually jump back in, and a couple of tips that will help you train on the release. If you've made it so far in the video, it probably means that you're pretty curious about learning the release. So if this tutorial helps you in any way, please consider leaving a like behind you as this also really helps me in return. All right, hey guys. So we had just talked about the concept of having one hand that's always the turning hand and another hand that's always the catching hand. We're going to start off by really understanding how do you actually release. I need you to pay really close attention that my, I am a left-handed person. So my turning hand is going to be the left hand. If you are a right-handed person, your turning hand is going to be your right hand. So here I'm going to be showing you my turning hand, which is my left hand. When you want to release, you're going to cross your hand to the other side of your body diagonally. So here I'm going to replay the release you just saw. Did you see how my left hand is actually crossing diagonally to the other side of my body so that I can release? Okay, so now at the same time when you cross your hand to the other side diagonally, you're going to place the handle that you want to release on the form of the hand you just crossed. So here I'm showing you how I'm placing the handle on the lower form of the hand I just crossed. Your goal is that with momentum, when you place the handle on your forearm, it's going to bounce off your forearm and turn naturally. So I'm going to be playing a release in slow motion so that you can see what it looks like.
Did you see it? Me crossing my hand and at the same time placing the handle on the lower forearm. It's almost as if I'm hitting the handle that I want to release with my forearm so that it just bounces off my hand. Alright, so now when you've released the handle, you're going to turn the rope once or twice before you bring the turning hand back to its original position so that you can catch the handle and jump back into the regular jump. Now once you've done one or two turns with your turning hand, it is very important that you literally uncross your turning hand back to its original position at hip level. It almost looks like you're sliding something from up to down with a sword. I'm going to play a release in slow motion so that you can really see what it looks like. I want you to be focusing on my turning hand while it is uncrossing. Did you just see that how I brought my turning hand from up to down before I jump into the regular jump? I'm gonna replay it a couple of times so you can really get a grasp of it. Alright so now you've learned how to actually release and how to bring your turning hand back to its original position. Now we're going to look at how do you actually catch the rope. And this is where I used to do most of my beginner mistakes. Once the handle was in the air, I would leave my catching hand around hip level, just there waiting for the rope to come back and magically land in my hand, instead of me actually actively going and catching the rope. So I want you to pay really close attention to my catching hand this time. Notice that during the entire release, my catching hand is up with my palms facing down, just ready and waiting to catch the rope back. I'm going to play a catch in slow motion and I want you to focus on my catching hand. How during the entire release, it is waiting up with my palms facing down and when I want to catch the rope, I literally just bring it down and with one movement continue to jump. It's almost as if I was slapping something on the ground. At first you shouldn't worry to accurately catch the handle. It's fine if you catch the cable at first. As you can see from my videos, more often than not, I actually catch the cable and recover from there. And catching the handle is going to come with a lot of practice and with time. But don't let that from actually stopping you to try and integrate the uh, release into your everyday tricks. Alright, so if you've got your technique right for the turning hand and the catching hand, you shouldn't have any trouble jumping back inside without really needing to jump very high. When you get a really good hold of the release, you can start training on different stuff. For example, letting the rope go without having to put it on your forearm, as you can see in this footage. So instead of me placing the release handle on my forearm, I'm just letting it go in the air. You can also try switching your hand. So you switch your turning hand and your catching hand. All right, so here's a couple of exercises I can give you to train on your release. Place the handle that you would usually throw on the ground and using your turning hand, try to turn the handle in a way that the rope, the cable starts looking like a C. This exercise really gets you to understand how the dynamics of the rope work and how the rope will react if you apply a certain pressure to it when it's in the air. Once you're comfortable with the C motion, you can even start by uh, increasing the speed until the rope looks like an S actually, just like you can see in this video. Now here's what it shouldn't look like. If the rope is like all wobbly, it's hitting your feet, it's hitting the ground, the handle isn't really turning, it's not really levitating off the ground, it probably means that you're not turning your hands at a very constant rhythm, which is fine at first. That's why you're watching this video to learn. Another great way to train on the release is to do it from the side swing. So instead of you trying to jump and then doing the release, just do it from the side swing. This makes it much easier for you to actually break down the trick and really understand how each member of your body should be moving. You'll also be able to perfect how to actually release the rope, where to exactly put the handle on your forearm depending on the different jump ropes that there are out there. So that was the release guys. I really hope you get out there, try it, heal a couple of times, but then get it to work. I need you to keep in mind that it is one of the harder tricks to do and it is going to require some time and some patience and some repetitions to do it. 
But please don't get frustrated, don't get demotivated, as it's really going to come with time. When you think about it, it took me five months to be able to get a hold of the release, and that's because I didn't have the knowledge you guys have right now. But you guys have the knowledge, all you need is the training. So get out there and nail the release for me. Again guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to this channel for more weekly jump rope tricks.